how cool is that? So it's free, and there's one of those kamikaze tumbleweeds that I took took out. Oh, and I gotta show you this. So I apologize for the cat tracks that go up and over my car. For some reason, uh, animals are attracted to me, and whether it be me personally or whatever items I have, including my car. So there's the capulin. Uh, we're gonna drive up and around, and I may just hold the the uh, camera out the window. And it's kind of a narrow drive, so I gotta be careful doing this. There we go. All right. So as you can see, there's a wall, not very high, that goes up and around before we start to meander up and around the, the uh, Capulin. And uh, I got a map, and hopefully when I get up here, I can uh, use it and point out various uh, various volcanic mountains uh, like the Sierra Grande and uh, I'm telling you it's gonna be so beautiful today's it's not like crystal clear blue like it usually is but um, it's still clear enough where we're gonna see a lot and I'm excited for you guys because oh God it's just breathtaking uh, and if you ever have the chance to come out here you got to visit some of these places where do you see this this is crazy because this is kind of narrow here and I'm just gonna kind of hold the phone and not pay attention as we're coming up I don't know if you can see this but it's just crazy far you can see it's just beautiful oh my god and I'm just gonna leave this play because it I don't know if it's annoying to people that I keep uh, just doing little clips and you know. Oh, there's a hawk. Oh, so cool. Hopefully that showed up. But that's what I mean. There's all kinds of wildlife out here. It's just, if you're a nature freak like myself, this is a place to come. a major drop off off to the right as you can probably imagine this is probably scaring some people I know if my mom was in here she'd be like pay attention to the road <laughs> oh, my. oh my god it's so awesome holy crap I can't wait to get up on the top and then so it's really cool because it flattens out there and uh, here comes somebody down the road um, it flattens out where you can actually go down in the uh, the center of the cone and then they have a walking path that goes the whole way out and around the, the rim and when I'm up here I usually see when it's warm out in the summer I've seen you know different kinds of uh, uh, animals whether whether it be uh, mule deer uh, I've seen uh, lots of different lizards and things like that so, and lots of ravens, and this is really cool how this meanders up here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Up and around. I'll wait to check this. Oh, you can hear my plastic bottles uh, popping as we're coming up the elevation. My ears are going to pop here in a minute. I just, I can't get over how beautiful it is, and I just can't even express it. It's like, I wish you you all could see this. And potentially, you know, there's 7 billion people on the planet, and I was thinking to myself, wow, I'm paying 5 bucks to get the potential for 5,000 people to bring this to their homes and on computers. But it just so happens, um, a blessing was this is actually free for everybody. So, again, if things work out in synchronicity. Oh my gosh, check it out. Hopefully you guys can see those uh, white cap mountains in the distance. And another thing is winter, spring, fall, you'll have different, uh, you know, everything's kind of brown right now. In, in the spring or summer, you know, when it rains, we get green. Not a lot, not like back home, but in the winter, it's awesome because you get these white cap mountains here.
we, I guess meaning us, because you're with me on this journey. So look at all the volcanic uh, eruptions are like, you know, they, they rise out of the ground right there. So all of New Mexico, or a big part of it is just that, it's, it's volcanic. Okay, so as we pull in here, let me put my window down here. You can see that trail that goes up and around, and then right there, um, you can see how it goes down in. And so I'm going to shut this off for a second and then get re. All right, guys, it is a little windy here, but down here, uh, inside the cone, it won't be as bad as on the top. And you can see how that goes the whole way. The trail goes the whole way up and around. Wait, do you see how small these cars look? How it, it may give you some a better perspective of how big this is. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go down there first. No one else is down there. Um, and maybe capture some energy. And we do have some snow here. Higher elevations. Even though it was 75 yesterday, I didn't check when I got out of the car, but it's, I'm sure it's not that warm. Um, so, yeah, you can see it's melting off the trail. And I'm just going to try to pan around here so you guys can see how cool this is. Standing here in the middle of a volcano. I didn't bring the right shoes again like yesterday. Now my toes are going to be hurting. But... <laughs> there we go. There's that. Um, there's a plaque down there that I'm going to um, get a pic of or some video that you guys can pause and read. that wind picking up so I apologize for that cheer of the volcanic rock I'm turn around hopefully block the wind a little bit here's some close-up I guess they call that fauna over the years build up all right guys here we go volcanic plumbing and again you can just pause it and read whatever it has to say there I'm gonna try to get into a place where there's not as much wind because I'm sure that's annoying but here we are in the center of this volcano I had to put on my uh, fleece because it is find a spot somewhere possible. Really so as you can tell I'm a little bit winded. <laughs> Just uh, on a mission here to get up to the top of this so you guys can see how far out this goes. Okay. This is upside down. Let me turn it around here. Uh, so here's a map it'll hold still with this wind. Basically, Sierra Grande is right there. And then you guys can pause that and zoom in and read it if you'd like. But look how far out that is. There's the baby Capulet right there. Um, there's a town right there called uh, Folsom. And uh, they found the oldest recorded uh, history of uh, human remains, I believe. They call him the Folsom Man. Now, I might not be 100% accurate with what I just said, so Google it. it again, Folsom, New Mexico. And uh, I know there's some, they dug, uh, uh, you know, along with the dinosaur bones and things like that, they found, uh, I think they found some mammoth things here too, but I'm sure it was like uh, one of the oldest uh, humans. And so we got some people here up at the very top where it's peak. And I'm just going to come over here. There's another plaque. I'll try to get this whole thing. There we go. Alright, there's one more here as we're coming down and around. 
and down over on this side as I'm coming down here this is where I always see these uh, hawk and sometimes eagles just it's almost like you could reach out and touch them because we're so far up and they're gliding above the ground but they're just off of the side of the volcano here and so as I come down through if I can capture any of them I'll put it on here for you. Alright I'm just gonna get a little bit of this volcanic ash here um, you can see how pretty there's all kind of different maroon reds and out in the distance there it's really cool because in the winter time whenever they uh, cinder the roads they just grind up this volcanic ash so everything's red on the road it don't look so nice on your car but that's the price you pay I guess and for having some snow once or twice a year some more wildlife here there's been a lot of people I've run into so they're probably not out and about like they usually are up here so we're on the other end of the Capulin there's my little car on the left down there if you look out you can see those white cap mountains many of them are like 14,000 feet high and I believe there are more 14 thousand foot high mountains in Colorado than anywhere else at least in the United States but you can google that too <laughs> I'm going by memory here this is all raw and unedited when you guys get it so you have to look it up yourself but wow we'll come up to this point see what's on this corner and then I'm on the home stretch downhill oh yeah So you can see all the little volcanic bumps back as the lava flow came and went across. You can actually see how it formed valleys. And when it rains, it, the water, of course, follows that down into various places. It's so dry out here, though. That it's like, luckily, we have a lot of guys well uh, that concludes our tour of the Capulin and uh, it was pretty cool and hopefully it wasn't too annoying with that uh, the wind uh, it seemed like it died down now that I got in my car I just saw two Ravens that just flew up here together it was so cool because I know well you can't see right where I'm looking but um, I'm kind of at the edge of the the Capulin here and uh, of course it goes down around 1500 2000 feet and so you know that they're gliding above the ground like 1500 2000 feet but they're just off of the roadway it's pretty cool anyway uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, if I find anything else interesting along the way I'll put it on here so sending you guys love light and laughter and okay, until so next time we're back down from the castle in here and I'm just gonna give you this uh, ranger station and what's interesting, as I was telling you before, about things in synchronicity and paying attention to numbers. And what did I run into when I got down here? Nine, nine, nine. So, it's pretty cool. Look that up for uh, Doreen Virtue. I think it's uh, closing doors, like uh, I was saying earlier with the 111, 8, and 9. So, it's pretty cool. I'm going to go in here and uh, if I see anything else, go cool.